Good morning, everyone. Today we will be talking about resonance structures. Now, what does it mean? Resonance structures are different Lewis structures of the same compound. That means the position of the atom does not change. However, we can move around the electrons. Why is it important to know resonance structures? Well, because they can help determine a few properties. Let's take a look at this example. Here we have a re resonance structure, excuse me, because we have a double-headed arrow. The lone pair of the oxygen atom comes to form a bond here. But because N is a second row element, it cannot exceed the octet rule. And so here the double bond becomes a lone pair for the oxygen. Now this one is more stable than this one, this resonance structure, because there is no separation of charges. The charges can be determined through this formula, formal charge equals, you can see here. So here I drew a resonance structure of carbonate. As you can see here, there are three resonance structures for this molecule, and they are equivalent. And because they are equivalent, we can draw a hybrid structure, which is kind of the combination of the three. And it is very stable. So we can see here there are partial double bonds between the C and every O. So here are a few examples of resonance structures in which we are going to determine which is the most stable. So the first example, we can see that the second one is more stable than the first one because here the carbon atom satisfies the octet rule. In the second example, the second one, second resonance structure, is more stable than the first one because the negative charge is on the most electronegative atom, which is the oxygen. However, we cannot say the same for the positive charge. It has nothing to do with the positive charge has to be on the most electropositive atom. This is just a misconception. It only works for the negative charge. In this example, we can see that the first resonance structure is the most stable, even though the sulfur exceeds the octet rule. And that's okay because it's not a second row element. So in conclusions, why are resonance structures important? Resonance structures are important because they can help us determine if a molecule is stable or not. And so structure determines property. The more stable, for example, a base is, the more acidic its conjugate acid. So resonance is a tool, can be a tool to compare the degree of acidity between two molecules through structure.